In late February, famous model Abby Choi disappeared in Hong Kong. The police quickly found the woman's remains and arrested the suspects on the spot. It turned out to be the family of Choi's ex-husband. Details of the case continue to shock Hong Kongers and mainland Chinese alike. ECD has compiled the details of the crime as they are currently known. Abby Choi, a 28-year-old Hong Kong model and glamour influencer, has not been seen since February 21st. Her brother-in-law and part-time driver had picked her up and was supposed to take Choi to her eldest daughter's school. However, no one picked up the girl that day. Police determined where Choi had gone by checking her car's GPS data as well as security camera footage along the way. The data led them to a suburban neighborhood in Taipu County. This quiet neighborhood is popular with Hong Kongers who want to spend time away from the hustle and bustle of the city to ride their bikes, go for a walk, or meet friends for a barbecue. Police searched the three-story house in Taipu on February 24th. There was virtually no furniture inside. The perpetrators had covered the walls of the apartment with sailcloth, cleavers, a meat grinder, an electric saw, protective clothing, and Choi's bag were found at the scene. Parts of women's legs were found in the refrigerator. As forensics later determined, the girl's head and other body parts were cooked in two huge pots of vegetables. The torso and arms of the deceased have still not been found. Police searched the cemetery and slopes near the rental house, and divers from the elite Flying Tigers unit searched the watershed for remains. For three days, 120 police officers searched the landfill, where trash from the crime area is removed. Police searched an area the size of a soccer field five feet deep, but found nothing. Choi's ex-husband's family was arrested on charges of murder, which they called premeditated and well-planned. First, they arrested Kwong Kao, the 65-year-old father, and his eldest son, Anthony Kwong, 31, who was Choi's driver. They were the ones seen with huge bags in the cemetery near the crime scene. Kwong Kao is a retired and former police officer who resigned in 2005 after being accused of rape. He was allegedly the mastermind behind the murder. They lived with their eldest son, Anthony Kwong, together. Upon learning of his in-law's arrest, Choi's ex-husband, Alex Kwong Kong Chi, 28, tried to flee the city in a speedboat. Police apprehended him at the pier. During his arrest, they found HK dollar five hundred zero 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 sixty four thousand dollars in cash and several pairs of watches worth HK dollar four million with Anthony Kwong. It was later learned that the younger Kwong had been on the run since 2015. In addition to murder, he was charged with seven counts of theft that occurred between 2013 and 2015. Unemployed Anthony Kwong lived with his retired mother. Jenny Lee Sui Hung, 63, is charged with obstruction of justice for allegedly destroying evidence during an investigation. Police do not yet know if the woman was involved in preparing the murder. Another person arrested, a 47-year-old woman surnamed Eun, a masseuse and mistress of Kwong Kao, has been released on bail. Police suspect that she helped Kwong Sr. rent a house and was also harboring Alex Kwong. The other person detained in the case is a 41-year-old man named Lam. He is accused of aiding and abetting because he tried to help Choi's ex-husband escape by collecting money for him. The men were asked for HK dollar three hundred zero 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 thirty eight thousand dollars to organize the escape by sea. A total of six men were arrested. According to close friends, Abby was generous and sympathetic to her former relatives. She hired former brother-in-law Anthony Kwong as a driver. It is believed that Choi was attacked in her seven-seat car because blood spatter was found inside. According to preliminary reports, the cause of Choi's death was a head injury. The woman was petite. She was 1.55 meters tall and weighed about 40 kilograms, so the men had no trouble taking her down. Then the criminals took the body to a rented house and dismembered. According to the local media, the motive for the murder was a multi-million dollar property in one of Hong Kong's elite areas, Kowloon. Abby Choi bought the 550 square meter apartment in Kaduri Hill for HK dollar 70 million, 9 million dollars, and registered it in the name of her father-in-law, Kwong Kao. According to Choi's acquaintance, who was privy to her real estate dealings, the apartment was bought purely for investment and Choi was going to sell it. She promised to buy another property for her ex-husband's family. The appearance of potential buyers infuriated the Kwong family. Choi's family is quite wealthy, running a successful construction business in mainland China. Choi herself was a popular blogger and model. In February 2023, 
Choi was featured on the cover of fashion magazine L'Officiel Monaco. I'm a very inspired person, and I'm always trying new styles, she said in an interview. The magazine praised her for her style and ability to mix elements in unexpected ways, which has earned her fans around the world. The number of followers on Abby Choi's Instagram account nearly doubled to 147,000 after the murder. She also helped found Paomi's charitable organization, a charity dedicated to helping homeless animals. Abby Choi has four children. Alex Kwong was the father of the older two children, who are now being cared for by Choi's mother. The other two children were by Chris Tam, son of the founder of the popular Hong Kong restaurant chain Tam Jai Yunnan Mixian. Choi reportedly did not register her marriage to Tam, so the Kwong family assumed that the model's assets would be inherited by her two older children. All four members of the Kwong family were taken into custody in the courtroom without the possibility of bail. The next court hearing is May 8th, and the investigation and search for the remains continues. Internet users in mainland China on the social network Weibo, Chinese Twitter, have called the Kwong family horrible and inhumane in comments on the news of the Choi murder investigation. Some commentators regret that Hong Kong does not have the death penalty. It was abolished in 1993. In 2020, China also discussed high-profile cases of women murdered by their husbands. In the east of the country, her 55-year-old husband, Xu, was arrested on suspicion of killing a 51-year-old woman, Lai. He reported his wife missing himself and for more than two weeks pretended to help police look for Lai. When police found Lai's remains in a sewage septic tank, Zhu confessed to killing his wife because of family conflicts. The second case is the death of blogger Lamu, a Tibetan of nationality. She was broadcasting live on the short video platform Douyin when her ex-husband doused her with gasoline and set her on fire. Lamu died of burns to 90% of her body surface. The man was arrested on the day of the arson. On March 7th, the media reported the arrest in mainland China of another suspect accused of being an accessory to Abby Choi's murder. The woman was handed over to the Hong Kong police.